also follow me on Snapchat at Grada Love, G R A D A L O V E, if you don't know me. Hello, lovebirds of the world. It seems like everyone is getting a relationship. And um, as I stay single, I spend money on makeup. So, I think even when I get in a relationship, I'll probably spend money on makeup. Let's be real. Anyway, I'm doing an Ulta beauty haul. My best friend got me an Ulta gift card for Christmas. So, I treated myself. And I used a little bit of my money. Because, you know, I had to balance it out. But, yeah, I have some goodies to share with you all. I got these Ulta Beauty Wedges because you cannot have enough of these in my opinion. Um, beauty blenders. When I finally learned that they carry bacteria like pretty bad, the same way a, any other sponge does, I realized that these disposable ones are probably a better look for my skin. Okay, so I got this. I actually have the empty right here. The Porefessional. I got the little cheap small version and it was so lit that once I stopped using it, I saw a difference. Like I have it on, I had to like take this out of the box to use it to put my makeup on tonight because it's so good. So I went and got some more of this, the Pore Festival by Benefit. It's lit. I've been using something way too strong for my skin and I've had like pretty much rough patches right here and right here on my skin. You can't tell because I have beat the face, thank God. Um, but yeah, this was something that the girl at Ulta recommended. It's Aveeno Active Naturals. And I guess, you know, I'm thinking natural products should be good. I used these makeup removing wipes by Aveeno Active Naturals too. And it worked really good for me if my skin felt pretty good. And this is the foaming cleanser, if I didn't say that. And also, you can't get a cleanser without getting a moisturizer. So, I got the Aveeno Active Naturals Ultra Calming Daily Moisturizer with sunscreen because, honey, just because the melanin pop don't mean the melanin need to pop in the sun. So, you got to protect the melanin. Since we're speaking of naturals, I got this Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Shea Butter Soap. Because I needed, I was going to get like gel, um, shower gel or something like that. I was going to get like maybe a bath ball or something. But then I saw the shower gel version of this and I wanted it. And I was like, I haven't used a bar in a while and I feel like it will last longer. And it was $4.99 as opposed to $9.99. So... $5 for a bar of soap, I think I'll take it. Okay, so everything else left is from the clearance rack that they had. And their clearance was so lit today. And you know, as the new year begins or ends, like stores start getting rid of stuff. So I feel like I just like stole this stuff because literally it was, some of them ranged from 29 cents to 49 cents to 59 cents. I don't think anything was more than 59 cents from... Well, up after, after this and this. And everything else was less than a dollar. So these are Lush Lashes. This is really good because I know how to put on lashes, but I'm not very good at it. I can't say it's a skill that I've perfected. So I thought this would be helpful because it has a little helper right there. So I'm going to try them. So this is a cushion file I got. It was a dollar. I knew I needed a file because I, these are press-ons if y'all didn't know. And I like them because they're pr much cheaper than getting the acrylic done. They're from nailher.com. They look like really good. Like even my friends who get their nails done, they're like, whoa, that looks really good. So I needed this because- you know, you're pressing on the you don't brush that surface again. You gotta like, get it nice and ready before you put the glue and nail back on. You can't just pop it back on. You gotta get it some rough surface to attach to. And now for the clearance. For the clearance that was mad cheap, yo. I've never had a receipt this long and spent less than $100. Like, I was like, how much is that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There was one thing that I was on the, on the fence about and it was actually this um liner it is liquid eyeliner this is palladio she said it's a really good brand but it just didn't perform well in the store so they were trying to get rid of it and i, I was like let me be the one let me be the one to help you get the product out the store i don't mind i 
Especially if it's only costing me 29 and 49 cents. Like, come on, girl. I'm, I'm your girl. I'm your girl for this. This is the Palladio Emerald Isle Liquid Eyeliner. Okay, so this is Palladio Baked Blush in the color Chalk Ole. So, let me swatch it a little bit. I like it. I thought it was really cute. And for like less than a certain price, that's bomb. <gasps> Oh, this is really soft and it's like pigmented. Now we're gonna get to the liners. All right, so we have this Palladio lip liner in nutmeg. I thought this was a pretty color. So. When I saw this one, I knew I wanted it because it is just, it better be as cute as I thought. Okay. Oh, it's a little broken. Oh, there we go. There we go. We're back in action, baby. Okay, this is a waterproof eyeliner, and this looks so pretty. Look, can you see? Can you see? Can you see? I think you can see. I almost want to get it for my best friend. She is a member of SG Row, and these are one of her colors. Well, I think that's it, like royal. This is ocean blue, but hers is royal blue, but I really like that. This is the Palladio Glitter Eyeliner. All right, so the next Palladio liner is Charcoal Eyeliner. And I love gold, especially rose gold. If you know me, you know that. My phone is rose gold. My headphones are rose gold. And if my laptop could be rose gold, it would be. I have a MacBook Pro, but it's only available in like the MacBook Air or something. So I couldn't get it. I needed my little extra hard drive and whatnot. Oh my goodness, I love it. I haven't even put this on, but I love it already. I just love gold, okay. Oh, sugar. Sugar, got me looking like So my camera stopped recording, I'm not sure why. Like at least I noticed it because my screen is right there, so I kind of noticed it. But anyway, and I have two lip glosses. This is the Palladio Herbal Lip Gloss in the color Bellini. Bellini? Yeah, Bellini. Okay, guys, so this is the Palladio Herbal Lip Gloss in the color Orange You Glad. Orange You Glad? Orange You Glad? Got it! It means orange you glad, like aren't you glad you have this lip gloss? Definitely not typically a color I would wear, but I like it. I think with a brown liner, this would be really cute. And it's almost an everyday, well not almost, this is an everyday gloss. And now we're gonna try Bellini and see how that looks. Yeah, I like this too. It actually gives me color instead of just gloss. realize that even though I can't sing God accepts my praise how many men can you say if you serenade them knowing you can't sing they're gonna accept it huh I'll wait unless you married because if I have a husband he better accept it that's all I know I just want to say thank you for watching and please hit the subscribe button because I want to connect with y'all. Like when you subscribe to me, I want to like subscribe back. So comment and let me know because women supporting women, women supporting men, men supporting women. Let's just, let's just make this a supportive movement. Just press that red button and I'm gonna press yours. Stay lit, stay blessed, stay beautiful. It is 2017, it's lit. Shout out to my friends who watch because I know my girls be watching. You're welcome. <laughs> I've been hiding because I'm a little rough. At the end of the day, I know I'm beautiful. And yes. that's what she teaches. To stay beautiful. It's okay if you have your body. It's so cute and my lips dry, but I'm still cute and kissable. <laughs> I can't. I kind of like that. I might have to keep that as an intro. <laughs> <laughs>
you want. Follow me on Snapchat, G R A D A L O V E, if you don't know me. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's, that I like that's not corny? No, it's corny, but it's okay. You, you have to have oh, see? corny friends. You gotta have friends that tell you that you're corny, because, you know. <laughs> Yo, she just clowned me. Girl, you thought you was worth a poem? Get out of here.